Hello everybody and welcome back. We are continuing our Let's Play series of World War 3 and recently they came out with the inventory update. Uh, so for somebody who like me who bought the game originally when it released into early access I think like 20, uh, 2018? I, I'm, actually that might be too early. I forget. It was, might have been 2020. Um, but yeah, so now there's an inventory system. I will check that out in just a second. I think I need to change audio. Yeah. So I did a Windows wipe since I last played this game. Uh, I reinstalled everything on my PC, so I reset a lot of my settings here. Uh, okay, that's good. Hit back. Actually, go to audio again. I thought I had like an audio device. Headphones. All right, that's all good there. I'm gonna bump up the field of you just a little bit. Actually, we'll leave it at 90. In game, let's put that to 140. Motion blur, let's turn that all the way down. Volumetric fog. Uh, I'm gonna turn that to high, turn that to high. Okay, that all looks good to me right now. All right, so let's go, let's check out uh, what is new here. So we have new identifications. Um, I did go onto the website and I transferred it to my character. So that's all there now. Yep, we got the veteran tag from originally getting the game. And then we also have the veteran badge. Cool. Uh, or actually, wait, does this change your title? Okay, item equipped. Um, there are a few other ones. There's Encounter, Escalation, and First to Fight, I think, are some other ones. Not sure what this World War one is. Huh. If we go into Equipment... Okay, so I think this here... Now, I haven't played for a bit. Last time I played, I think there was an issue with a lot of the uh, loadouts. So hopefully it actually remembers that stuff now. Uh... But basically anything that I changed weapon wise, it did not like at all for some reason. So we'll see if it's any better or different this time around. I think this is just telling me about the weapon skin items. I don't know why the audio is now starting to cut out. We were doing fine for a while there with uh, with no audio cutouts, but Unless if it's actually this game, it could be. Uh, let me actually check one thing, because last time I think I figured it out, but... Okay. Well, let's see. Um, if we go into this, then this, I think this is where you get your blueprints for the weapons. Those still want to tell me to do all that. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, strikes. I know some of these have blueprints as well. Yeah, see, like, what is new? One blueprint, one blueprint. Skin customization. Change skin. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure. 
I always forget there's there, I mean there technically is a whole lot to this so there, <laughs> there's so many different options you have a skin for everything you have different colors for stuff I uh, what is it if we go to character slot I think this one should be one that we can change up go to this operators yeah yeah this is one that uh that we unlock so there's ru rifleman u.s army rifleman world war three veteran and task force 51 uh grom white wolf i'm not sure what that is I wonder if that's the current one that they have out there um but okay i'm gonna actually do change to the world war three veteran one see how this goes can we actually change these while we're in here okay cool so you can change the character still even after you select it. i thought it was going to be something like you select it and you're stuck like you can't do anything but that's cool uh so you can change barrette wait do we have the ronin helmet oh we did Oh, yeah, right here. Attachment blocked by face wear. <laughs> I don't know. That looks kind of weird. <laughs> like that. I mean, it can be cool, though. If you equip it on somebody that's more... Oh, okay. It took off of these. That's locked there. Might honestly do that instead. I feel like that's uh, a little bit cooler. Commando stripes. So you can put those on anybody, really. It looks like fingerless gloves, uh, vest, more stripes, and then all black pants. That's kind of cool. I think I actually kind of like that. All right, so that's pretty much the character customization. Now, if we go back to equipment real quick here, I forget which weapons were the ones that uh, actually made a big difference. Uh, originally, what was the one that I was using the most? That's level nine, level six. I was using a lot of the LMG. I really liked that gun. Uh, I would need to go back to the website to look at the inventory to see what um, what stuff we got added. I can actually do that too, though. One sec, let me let me pull it up. World War Three. Go into the website just so I can see what I've transferred so far, because I know um, a lot of it is skins, and then some are blueprints. We actually have a new item I can transfer right now. Uh, vehicle blueprint, IFV, the AK-15, Escalation banner set, Veteran emblem, emblem Task Force set, uh, MG-5, LMG, White Wolf, M4, Intervention, Okay, so I think technically we have a M4 blueprint. Yeah, this right here, but can we actually use it? Wait, even though we don't have it unlocked, we can use it? Oh, okay. It's because right here it says level 16. But when I scroll to this, Maybe that's what that like little green icon is right behind it. What happens if I go to this? Like, yeah, we can't equip that one. But if we go to these, we also have the AK-15, I believe. Yeah, this one's locked. The default is locked, but this one is unlocked. Okay, now I see. Then we can go to customization. Yeah, you start out with, uh, since we're wearing the, or using the blueprint, that's what we start out with. 
let me see if I can actually go in. I'm going to try it if we can go in with this weapon here. I don't know if there's any standard like weapon colors that you unlock or something like that for everybody or if it's per weapon specific it might be weapon specific emblem huh i have that but it doesn't, it doesn't matter what you think oh god that's that was so loud yo lil moody taco <laughs> nice name also thank you for the follow i appreciate it why is uh so now all of a sudden my pack is like very heavy too hold on if i change weapons this changes it to medium if i go m4 we have this one what i want to see what the difference is between the two it actually doesn't let me see AK-15. Okay, I'm actually, I'm gonna equip this. Um, now we just need to figure out what other equipment we need to unequip uh, if we want to try it being medium. Okay. That. We go here, under barrel. No, no. We can hold on to that. Hold on to that too. Smoke grenade. We also have a concussion grenade. I'll take the concussion grenade. Customize. All right, I think that's just about it. I'm gonna clear all these notifications because otherwise they're gonna be all over the place. Strikes, uh, I think the one I was using the most the last time was this, the Barracuda, or the remote one. And I think that's just about it. So let's, uh, oh, they added in the new map? Huh. I did not know that. Wait, let me go to career before we jump into our next game. So right now they have a, a 50% um, XP bonus. So you get extra XP for weapons and vehicles um, and your character. I mean, no, I think it's just weapons and your character. So uh, daily challenge, capture point, small neck, small neck, small nisk uh berlin destroy an enemy optics 10 times okay all right i think we are good we don't even have that one map so it doesn't even really matter that much let's give this a shot though it's been a little bit since i last played this game so Here we go. Back into some World War Three. <laughs> okay, let's uh, do that. Now I might have to change up some of the settings because it, it looks a little bit rougher than the last time I played. I don't know why it's like... Okay, it also, I think my sensitivity is way higher than before. Uh... Yeah, let me turn down some video settings here. I try turning it to borderless. Objective Charlie Two is under attack. Disable that. I think turning off that might even just helped out a good amount right there. The GPU buffering part. We are losing. 
Let's see. I need to turn down. Yeah, here we go. Sensitivity. Also, ah, <laughs> one more thing. We need toggle. Toggle zoom. Toggle hold. Hey, what's going on, Peaches? How's it going? All right, there we go. Let's see how this is. Been a little bit since I played uh, World War Three. I played it when I originally. Oh God, there's a guy and a vehicle. Completely missed that. Uh, how do I? There's a way I can throw out ammo, right? Oh God. Let me check a few key binds here. Our units are taking hold of objective Charlie two. Where's Voip? Is absolutely getting wrecked. All right, I'm gonna spawn at our home base to figure some things out. Here we go. Okay, so that's good. We lay down. Okay, that's good. Okay. Oh, we are still crouching. Grenade. Okay. Okay. Selective fire. Med pack. Map. Uh, scoreboard. Okay. We got a control options. No gameplay. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, I still feel like it's a little bit laggy from what I remember, so I'm going to turn down a little bit of these. Object quality, lighting, you can turn lighting down. Volumetric fog, sure, we'll turn that off. Shadow quality doesn't have to be, it's not. Same thing with foliage. Anti-aliasing, we can keep that on. Uh, that can be okay. Sharpen. Let's do that. Dynamic resolutions frame rate. Area Bravo is under our control. Okay, I think all that was turned off anyways. Change ammo type. Slide while running. Okay. See, that's good. Alright, I think we are almost good. Let me just see one final thing. Command menu. Soldier. No games are downloading right now, right? Just feel like something is like happening. Yep, nothing's downloading. That's good there too. Where is voice over IP? Just to make sure. I'm in voice chat back quote. Okay. Alright, I think we're good. <laughs> after me messing with some uh, settings for like the last five minutes. But yeah, I wanted to return to this game, see how the uh, the changes have been, uh, how it runs, all that stuff. Check out the uh, 
the new inventory system that they added. Uh, there's also 50% 50, 50 XP until the beginning of 2022. Um, so yeah, all that seems pretty, uh, pretty good for what it is. I do feel like we're getting some like frame rate drops. The audio still sounds like it's a little off from when I last played. We'll see how the gunplay is. can't even figure it. yeah so like that i i couldn't even tell that he was shooting at me the way the audio sounded there they're all inside the tank Forget how you request order. Oh, okay. Pressing X does that. Back alley. All right, I'm just gonna hop out. Do we have Alpha One? No, they're actually taking Alpha One right now. There we go, there's one. Throw down some health. Okay. Let's get in there. If I can remember how to get there. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know why, but something just, it feels off. I don't know. I don't remember if I had this game on an SSD or not. I don't know if I have it on one right now. Objective Bravo One is under attack. Okay, we captured Alpha Two. Nice. He's down. So different game, but uh, yesterday the Escape from Tarkov uh, sale started. So I ended up actually upgrading my version from standard to the limited darkness or Escape from Darkness edition. So I think at some point I'll be going back to check that out at least. <laughs> oh my god, somebody's body just went flying. Uh, but yeah, I, I definitely still want to get into that game because there, there's so much to it and it feels so good like running around picking up gear all of that It's just I I need a guide to be able to to play it um, Or I need something that that can at least show me um, More stuff so So yeah um, another game that I'm definitely going to be checking out. I don't know if I'll do it. Uh, probably not today. But I might be down to to finally check out uh, Enlisted again. Since they just started a few. Uh, Twitch streamer 5568. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Twitch streamer. Um, where was it? Oh, I might be going back to Enlisted finally to check out the uh, the two new campaigns that they came out with. Uh, I might play Berlin, see how that is, and then also um, they they also have drops going on right now. Uh, unfortunately, World War Three does have drops right now on Twitch at least. Uh, but it's not, it's not actually, uh, 
for every user. Only specific people are getting them. So, uh, yeah, kind of sucks for that, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, for and on the other side though, enlisted. If you're playing that game, drops are for pretty much everyone that plays. Yeah, this, this game definitely still needs some work. Um, I don't know if I was just like high on copium last time I played it, but I was really having fun with it. With that audio, especially after playing uh, Ready or Not recently, the the audio is a little bit like that's. A little rough. A lot of times, especially in a shooter, that's a key feature on where you're getting shot from. Like, I couldn't even tell that somebody was getting shot from in there. see anybody now oh. until right there and there was also a guy in there I didn't even see him I have the radar but I'm gonna hold on that that guy might be controlling the helicopter up there That guy is so much faster than me. <laughs> or he was, at least. Alright, let's see how this goes. Saw somebody over there. I need to turn the leaning feature to uh, toggle as well. The control options, lean, toggle. There we go. Enemy vehicle here. I'm getting in cover. Oh God. Nice, we captured it. Ah, oh, shoot. Ran to the other side. Oh no, they're about to get flanked. Spawning in. No, I was... My guy was still pulling his gun out. Ah, oh, shoot. What's going on, Sazman? How you doing, man? Hey, hey, yo, Gabagool. Hey, baby. Are you playing some Tarkov right now? Objective Alpha Two is under attack. Our units are or are you just chilling right Charlie now? Because I'm kind of, I might be down for some Tarkov. I just might be, but if not, I don't know. I keep getting wrecked right now in this game. I don't know what changed. I feel like I've done something. I feel so bad. 
Is the game paid? As of right now, yes. Uh, for closed access. Uh, this game's in closed beta for right now. Until, I believe, like, February or March. Which, at that point, it will be going into open beta. And it will be free to play. Or becoming free to play. So. Pick me. Oh, yeah, right. Right, I forgot you have me Rona. You mean my right was now? Love to, but I'm lift. Gotcha, man. Yeah, that sucks. I hope I uh, hope you are good after all that. But yeah, Kaizi, um, this game is right now it's enclosed. I mean, it's I believe it's only like twelve bucks. It's even on sale on sale right now. Um to get access to the closed beta, but it will be free in the future at some point. My guy's eyes are like wide open. Like see, he's seeing some stuff. Where do you prefer the t uh, views coming from Twitch or YouTube? I I kind of go back and forth, honestly. Like I I'm serious too. Like I I honestly go back and forth because uh YouTube the way it works is there's no like it the algorithm is you have to watch uh stuff on YouTube to be shown live stream you have to watch live streams to be shown live streams um so it, for me honestly like right now i'm starting to lean more towards youtube because it's at least there's something in your favor if people are watching live streams but i also don't care if somebody watches on twitch instead um it's kind of like 50 50 so whichever you prefer honestly Twitch always, and probably will, um, for me right now, is show up more. You know, that's that's where we're gonna the most of the viewership will be. But at some point, I would like to build uh, YouTube to to have a higher viewership because I do no, think that YouTube you? streaming in the future has a lot of potential. But. But yeah, it's not quite there yet. The one thing that is really nice, though, is um, YouTube does have that. Uh, do you see any benefits from the Twitch Nitro? The uh, Twitch, you mean Twitch Turbo? Like with uh, no ads? yeah um i mean for me not really so i well <laughs> as a streamer no i i don't see anything because i believe well since i'm not an affiliate anymore there technically shouldn't be ads but there could potentially still be ads that play um so i i technically shouldn't have ads on my channel when somebody tries opening it but since I'm not an affiliate, I don't get anything from Twitch anymore. Um, so it doesn't really do anything for me regardless. But if somebody was to get an ad, because I think they still can play ads on your channel. Um, it, uh, yeah. The only thing that I'm monetized on is YouTube and, uh, and Facebook at the moment. And neither of those have any exclusivity requirements. But I, as of the moment, or as of right now, I have ads turned off for uh, for YouTube um, for live streams, and I think I'm going to turn them on for uh, anything else, basically. <laughs> So once this live stream becomes a VOD, then there will have ads on it. 
but live streams I'm gonna leave off because then there's the membership option, which is pretty cool. I watch on YouTube then. <laughs> hey man, it's up to you, but if you want to, feel free. That's the only thing with YouTube right now is the only people that will will be shown streams are people who have watched streams in the past. If you don't watch a lot of live streams on YouTube, then YouTube, for the most part, won't push live streams. I think they just need to figure out a w I, and I don't know what what their plan is to but if they can figure out a way of pushing live streams to people that don't typically watch live stream. Jesus <laughs> I wasn't expecting that guy uh, but I don't know if they're ever going to add any type of uh, directory system because they seem like they're they're kind of against it but it could be cool Yeah, they need to differentiate them a bit. Finding streams on here is a little different. Exactly. I don't know what just unplugged. Objective Charlie One is under attack. One of my external hard drives unplugged, I guess. Yeah, finding streams on I like on here is a little difficult. Yeah, even going to the the YouTube gaming page, um, the I don't know, it, it needs a little bit of work, but I think I think that 2022 is going to have a good amount of changes, um, like some pretty cool stuff coming to YouTube. So I'm I'm excited for it. I like, I still like Twitch, and if they ever open up their affiliate agreement again to being uh, not exclusive to Twitch, then 110% I would rejoin it. From uh, from now until then, I'll just keep on streaming on Twitch because it, it has so low discoverability anyways that, hey, whatever. Anybody that comes from Twitch, cool, but I'll probably will say that that youtube will be my like preferred platform the other nice thing is you for youtube it has the foundation like it is actually there it's just the features that they're missing they have transcoding they have everything i have gigabit internet and youtube has the side the best quality i should watch a stream as 144 I noticed that too recently, dude. I, for some reason, um, I, I keep running into an issue like when I play YouTube videos on like my phone or my tablet. It's like, even though I have really good internet connection, it's like, hey, here's this video in 480p. And I'm just like, why are you giving this to me? Like, I can handle the, the 1080 or the 1440. But luckily, if you manually change it to it, then it should be good. After that. The the automated, like, recommended one is a little weird, though. A little iffy on how that, that works. Charlie won. Here, we'll go for Bravo 2. Do we have Bravo 1? Yeah, we do have Bravo 1. Oh, reload, reload. Oh no! He domed both of us. Damn. Oh, I did get somebody though. Nice. I'm still gonna go back for Bravo 1. Bravo 1.
I'm excited to see where YouTube streaming goes, though. Um, they they seem very confident in what it's going to be capable of in 2022. I thought I saw a Claymore, but I wasn't 100% sure, and it turns out it was a Claymore. <laughs> that sucks. Why does it say, um, why does it say your name on your overlay as Twitch streamer 556568? Um, so technically, uh, so the way that that overlay, and I never really explained it, but whenever there's a name to the left, that's a most recent Twitch follower. When there's a name to the right, that's a most recent YouTube subscriber. Um, so I about technically I'm looking at the uh, event list 16 minutes ago uh, Twitch streamer 5568 followed me <laughs> and then that's also why there's number two underneath of it because every action that happens it adds one to it and then it the timer resets so technically and and that my logo changes color so if six on the six action so if like five other people followed me right now on twitch or subscribed on youtube that timer would go up one and then that bar that is going around would reset but then the center logo would change a color um and there's like mile marks basically and then there's an hour until that number goes down. So technically in one and a half hours from right now, the number that says two would go to uh, zero and then the timer would, that bar above it would be gone. That circles it in a way, or not circles, but covers it, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Objective Alpha 2 is under attack. Only problem is that that thing with this game doesn't work perfect, and I need to find a way to put it on the bottom. Because right now that my overlay, like you can't even see it because, well, you can see it still, obviously. But uh, there's also the game overlay, which doesn't help. Shoot. There's phones. They're everywhere. All right, well, we're right here, so we might as well go for it. Go for Charlie one, then we'll go for Charlie two. Um, I have I, I haven't even been looking at my points right now. I think they might be inside there. No, there's a guy to the right here. Nice, he's down. Tricks of the trade, assault rifle. Nice. I think there's at least one guy. Yep, right there. The right? Wait, did I say the right and he was on the left? Yeah, technically. <laughs> Nice. 
All right, let's go for Bravo One. Bravo One. Bravo One. I might play like one or two matches of this, and then I might go to um. Never mind. They're taking Bravo Two. YouTube needs to work on their remote game. True, but they are trying. I will say, um, because. They do have membership emotes now. Um, and then they also have, uh, they're, they're starting to, well, they have their super chats, which I never really understood. It's, it's technically their version of bits. Um, but they're stickers instead. So it, I don't know. It kind of gets a little weird when it comes to those, but uh, membership YouTube memberships does allow you to have five emotes. So like the other day I was able to unlock YouTube memberships and I had to add in my emotes and everything. So I added in my old Twitch emotes there, uh, but they need like a global emotes list. The one thing that they did add, which is pretty cool. Well, not YouTube, but better Twitch TV. Uh, they those emotes now work on youtube so in that aspect that's pretty cool but they do need their own like ingrained like youtube emote system and something that has like a good ui to it i guess Uh, of course, I didn't mean to do that, but that works. Right there. Oh, damn. So yeah, they're they're trying. I I believe. I believe. Um, the one thing that I found out. Speaking of the membership. And like, you know how you said Twitch on uh, uh, Turbo a little bit ago? Technically on YouTube, if somebody watches your stream and they have YouTube Premium, you get, uh, which is their their version of no ads. Like if somebody has YouTube Premium, they don't get any ads on any videos. Um, but if somebody watches your stream, there's actually a section uh, where you, it tells you your analytics of how much money you're getting paid for for even though they have YouTube premium because I, I think they they give a little bit of money back <laughs> oh, really nice yeah so like something like that I think they I don't think 100% <laughs> you're rich yeah ha 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 I don't think that 100% you uh twitch does that like if I because I have twitch turbo uh because I can't stand watching the ads on on twitch I can do them on YouTube for the most part like I have no problem but twitch are some of them are just uh so bad um, so I have Twitch Turbo for a while and I never see any ads on Twitch, which is beautiful. Um, but I don't think Twitch does. I, I have heard though in the past that if somebody has Twitch Turbo and they watch your stream that apparently it counts as an ad view. So you get that payment. I've heard that. It says that turbo also goes to the creator. It might be that case then. It, I mean, I think it might be a, like a very small payment, but I, I heard that. So say if I was a Twitch affiliate right now and like I ran an ad on my channel, then I think you get, that, that person still counts as like an ad view, like a share of it, hmm. maybe. The one thing that that um that YouTube does have over 
Twitch. Um, and I think it's a pretty substantial thing if YouTube can can figure out how to to do their their whole like discovery system and algorithm like if it can become more friendly towards streamers and helping people that typically wouldn't watch streams watch streams um twitch or youtube does have a 70 30 percent cut nice i got two guys there meanwhile twitch has a 50 50 unless if you're a partner and you have some sort of contract there are people out there that do have 70 30 cuts but those are the top dogs on twitch the top top dogs the top the tippity top because they're like hey man i can just go somewhere else and make the same cut so but youtube automatically if you for their version of memberships if you become a member of somebody they get 70 percent youtube tapes takes 30 percent which you become a sub of somebody they take 50 percent you get 50 percent shrouds and summits yeah exactly the shrouds the summits the pokemans the xqc's the lyrics like all of them are probably getting 70 percent if not possibly more possibly a little bit more Damn. <laughs> oh my god. I I love keeping up on that kind of stuff though. I I watch so many in-depth like analysis of like why twitch is the way it is and why youtube is the way it is um and like the systems that they have in place and like how they maintain the high streamers that they do youtube is is also very confident at least at the moment they're they're saying that uh 2022 they're gonna be pulling some people uh some streamers top people that will be streaming on youtube gaming so i think that's one of the uh the big things that that will convert a lot of people bringing in, in some of the top dogs i feel like this game you die too often to perks um Uh, God. Squad member execute objective skill. Nice. I guess it's because he killed them in the objective. There's like three people right there. Yeah. Go off. Nice. I got one of them. That guy just ran straight, <laughs> straight past that. Nice. Been a few big ones already. I used to watch uh, Dr. Looper on Twitch. Now he's here. Yeah, they're, I mean, they are definitely coming. So it's it's definitely happening where they're, they're bringing in big dogs. So I think like beginning of next year, first few months like when they start launching like uh youtube gifting like membership gifting is gonna be a big thing um they have a they kind of have like a small roadmap of what's to come and it's it's all cool stuff that that twitch already has but that's all right I'm also, oh my God, don't even, dude, I am just waiting for the day where TikTok comes out and they're like, we now are live streaming. TikTok live streaming on your phone right now is insane In, because the algorithm is so either niche or so random that it's like, oh my God. 
The second that that becomes available on PC for everybody or I get access to it, 110% I will be adding TikTok streaming as well because that is a completely untapped source right now for, for gaming. And they're trying. They already built their version of uh, TikTok Studio on PC. I have it downloaded, but only limited, very, very limited people have access to it currently. Once something like that gets opened up to a lot of people, I think it's going to be something crazy. I saw a thing, uh, apparently some sort of, I don't know, analysis or something came out where it basically said that TikTok was the most searched or used website for 2021, um, higher than Google and Facebook and YouTube, like something like that. I forget who some uh there's like a youtube or a twitch um person that i follow on on twitter that posted it i just can't wait for your only fans gaming streams dude if they okay if only fans opened up gaming streams you know what i'm gonna be on there too our units are taking hold of objective bravo 2 <laughs> only gaming dude right there only gaming only gaming a only fans production uh product or service or like what would that be an only fans run site hot tub gaming streams exactly hey man i'm all right Oh God, oh God. I'm sorry, dude, I shot my ally. Clutch. <laughs> it always says change ammo type, but I don't think they've introduced ammo types yet. All right, I'm going for it. Our units are taking hold of objective Charlie one. Do we have Charlie two? No, we don't. We will in two minutes. Never mind. Well, at least I won't be there. time is it three o'clock okay i got two hours until i gotta do some festivities charlie two what it is but I still feel like something is like the settings are a little bit off like frame rate is rough what happens so we set it to max FPS oh my god <laughs> it actually doesn't I mean it's a little bit rough but it's smooth. It doesn't help that I'm being like, uh, <laughs> I 
I see like 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 you can see like all the little white lines everywhere. There's like no anti-aliasing. We tried changing it to medium or balanced. God, I can't see anything. It says that there's somebody right here. Objective Charlie One is under attack. Uh oh. Oh, that's the uh, new outfit that they have right now. Go for Charlie one. Oh God! Damn it! The game almost over. Oh yeah, it is. I'm gonna try to see if I can uh, get into the new map, and then after that, I might jump on to either Ready or Not or some Tarkov myself. Depending on what the situation is. Objective Charlie One is under attack. This game really needs audio fix. It's pretty rough for that. Everything else, though, I mean, with some time, this game, I think, can be really great. So, we will see defeat. That was a pretty close game. Like, not horrible. Not horrible. It was decent. Ay, ay, ay. You lost. You lose. Loser. How dare you. Dun dun dun. Level 12. Now let me exit. Yes. I'm going to try going for just that one. Oh, wait. No, I've played on this map before. I don't know. For some reason, I thought I've played. I haven't. I'm going to go for that map anyways. Yeah, let's see. Hello, my friends. No way. What? 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 That is crazy. Yo, Sazman, my first member. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. What? Yo, that's awesome, dude. Thank you. Thank you, man. What? You, yeah, literally you did. I couldn't have asked for anybody else. I knew if I waited long enough, the right person would come around. Pepe blush. Yeah, thank you, man. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Now I'm questioning why didn't a notification or well, I saw it said like, wait, what the heck happened? It was like Sazman has sponsored the stream.
has become a sponsor. I guess that's like an old name for. I need to see why no sound notification went off. Maybe I didn't care about it at the time because I was like, oh, I don't even have that unlocked. I'm a sponsor. Yeah, thank you. Thank you to Sazman for sponsoring today's stream. <laughs> Check it out at sazman.com or you can go to discord.gg slash rebl rebel to uh, join the sponsor for today. Oh, we're in game. I didn't realize. Hold on. Oh, God. Now I need a... Oh, God. Third box. Wait, I want to see this real quick. Members. Oh, wait. Why does it say has become a sponsor? It does actually... It's in there. Oh, I don't have any alert variations. Well, I'm going to have to set that up at some point. <laughs> Sazman and the letter F. Here, I'll play a sound for you. Beautiful. There's the uh, notification sound. And I have. <laughs> I also have the. Uh, what are you doing, step bro? It's a, but it's a girl in a. Uh, uh, Russian accent. Not actually. Yo, for real though. Thank you, man. Like, on a real, actual note. Thank thy for thy, um, monetary donation. A.K. Uh, becoming a member. Thank you, sir. Now I get to see what that actually looks like. You know what's funny? <laughs> when I be, when I set up the membership, it go, it, it walks you through some steps and it's like, do this so that way when you get your first member this is ready to go so i set up like a i had to make a member only post on uh youtube's community thing um so so that's there now hey i used to uh used to sell twitch so might as well do it here <laughs> yeah that the one thing well so that's cool it show, it does show you as a um in the the chat it shows you as a icon does it for so i don't have youtube chat open right now but i do see that you have the God. there's like a little green icon let me see if it has the badge on youtube I have a multi-stream chat open right now, so that way I can see all messages. See what it looks like. I'm just chilling in this guy's vehicle for a second. It does have the badge, your logo. Nice. Yeah, I was able to set up uh, a bunch of them. It, it does a similar similar thing to like the sub timer that I have at the front at the top. Like right now, where it says five. Um, after a certain amount of time, I think for YouTube it's like one month, then two months, then there's six months, then one year, and then twenty four months. Uh.
Oh, there it is. Yeah, now I see it. I was pulling up the, uh... Wait, it said Streamlabs went off twice. Or, well, the bot went off twice. Sasman has sponsored. Why does it say sponsored? That's weird. I don't know why it does that. Interesting. Very cool. Thank you again, though. I really do appreciate it, man. I was curious when that was going to happen for some anybody at all. I was like, ah, it's probably going to be a while. <laughs> but it's cool to see. So thank you. Thank you, indeed. Okay. Uh... Ouch. So it is 3.30 right now. Um, this is going to be a long match here. So... You can probably... Yeah, I can change the text. Yeah, I can change what it says. Um, I'll just have to go in there and, and actually update it. There's some guys here somewhere. Oh God. Probably in one of those windows. Nice. Didn't realize the time had to do. No worries, man. Yo, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for uh, doing what you do. And yeah. Have a, a dude, have a, uh, a very Merry Christmas if you do celebrate. And I will see you whenever. We got to play some games some more, man. So, whenever you're on Tarkov or whatever, I'll hit you up or you hit me. Up. Feel better as well. Oh, God, that thing is still so loud. Merry Christmas, man. I, I don't know if I'm going to play this whole match all the way through. Um, I could play some. I honestly would be down for some ready or not. I don't know if I really feel like playing some enlisted right now. Um, let me see. Could be down for some ready or not for about an hour. To ready or not, or not to ready or not. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna jump to ready or not. Affirmative. This game is still good state. Uh, I mean, like starting area still needs some work, but it, it's really pretty cool still. So um, I can't wait to see more for, uh, for it as well. So for now, I'm going to table or set this game aside. Uh, I'll be checking it out again at some point, but I'm probably going to wait for like a substantial.